Hello everyone, I am Argama Witch, and uh, for this next tutorial I'm going to be talking about doing some more uh, expressive um, faces? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, alright, there's this new kind of fad craze going around in the VTuber community and the tracking world, um, and where you add extra blend shapes so you can have more movement and expression in your uh, face, which is really good because like that's mostly what people see is our face, so we can make different faces. Um, mm. <laughs> so yeah, it, and it looks really good, like don't get me wrong, it looks really good. Um, it's not a simple step. Um, there's, there's quite a lot that goes into it and, um, <clears throat> it's definitely something more advanced and it's not free. So, um, yeah, I mean, there, there is actually a way to do it for free. However, I won't know how to do that because it will require you going into Blender and we're going to stay as far away from that fucking program <laughs> as possible. <laughs> Um, uh, but there's going to be two ways of doing it. One way is, uh, we're, we're going to do it with like the iPhone. It's going to use the, um, uh, face tracker and the IR, uh, tracker from the iPhone. And, um, the other one is going to kind of be a fakey way that we can kind of do some expressions, not all of them. Um, I know a lot of people really like the whole wiggling the mouth a little bit. I don't know. My, my mouth wiggles aren't that great, but I don't care because I don't really wiggle my mouth. But I can kind of do more like... <laughs> That's what I like. I like doing... Mm, and... Bah. Yeah. But anyways, so um, one will require an iPhone, the other one will not. Uh, but it'll be more limited. But it'll still give you more uh, expressions that you can do. And I'm going to show you how to do both of those. How to set up the 52 shape keys needed in order to do all of this. Because there's like a lot of shape keys that are needed. Um, which will require a program that costs about $10 in Unity. Um, and then I think if you want the iPhone tracker. The second part will be about the tracking and integrating it. And if you want the iPhone tracking, it's another, um, uh, it's like $9, I think, for the, the, the mocap, the, the application and the cost of the phone itself. I may have gone and bought the phone for this particular reason because, well, all right, look, I'm... I'm a needy bitch, and uh, I've been depressed, and I needed this for myself, okay? So I don't want any judgment from you guys. I put it on my credit card, and I will pay it off eventually. <laughs> and it wasn't new. It was a cracked phone from uh, a phone repair shop or a pawn shop, or I don't know what the hell this place was. It's kind of shady. It's a little shady place somewhere. This guy was kind of nice, though, but yeah. Anyways. Um, so, yeah, this went on a little longer, so, uh, let's get into it, shall we? Also, I'm gonna not have my model tracking while I'm doing this, just so I don't get in the way of showing you things, because I haven't mastered recording multiple layers on Streamlabs, because I'm a noob. Yeah. Alright. Bye. <laughs> I mean, no way, I'm not leaving anywhere. I'm, we'll start this shit. Okay, let's go. All right, so first we're going to talk about getting um, all the blend shapes on your model. This is going to require you to download quite a few programs. Now, let's say you already have your model and you made it in the latest version of Vroid, which they have over on um, Steam, which is what I do. It's 13 point whatever. When you're done, finished with it and you save it, you're going to need to download Vroid.12.0. Now, it says it can work with ones um, 
with with ones uh, over this, but I've only had issues with it. So I recommend downloading this one. And you can get that by going over to Vroid Studios. You can just vroid.com, and then you go to download, and you'll see this. And when you when you get over here, you're gonna go to the past versions, which is this button down here, and you're gonna look for just 12.0, and then you're gonna click it and download it. And then you should have all your models still here. For the most part, it should be fine. There might be some things that you can't, that don't work or whatever, but I digress. It should be good. So we're going to do the Tron Gamma for this one. We're going to add the additional expressions to Tron Gamma. I got to do it for all mine eventually, but all right. So we're going to click it. We're going to let it load in and you know, V-Roy, V-Roy is fucking slow. So give it a moment. Two hours later. So now we're going to go over here to the exporter. Um, and according to this, where it says mesh reduction, don't click any of these. You see this erase transfer? Don't click it. Leave it there. It's fine. Um, bone reduction. I mean, uh, material count. You should be able to unclick that, but for, we're just going to stick with this. All right. So we're going to export uh, Tron. Yeah, it was okay. We're going to do... Uh, we're going to name it Argamatron version 2 with a big old V because I want to be able to see that as a version 2. All right. Look, I have a lot of versions. I'm constantly editing and figuring out shit for myself all the whole time. It's fine. All right. Now that that's done, we got to take it into Unity. But it can't be any Unity. And it can't even be the Unity that I usually suggest. It has to be Unity uh, 2019.4. All right, so you have to find 2019.4, which you, know, you just go 2019 over and you let it load. And any one of these should be fine. I just picked the the um, one from October. Uh, and I'll try to leave a link to this in the description if I remember. Usually I forget. Um, and it's going to look a little different. It's going to be uh, like this. Don't even, don't even worry about this other thing. I'm gonna get rid of that. All right, so it's gonna kind of look like this, right? And uh, I use, I just grabbed the Uni VRM. I'm using uh, 0 0.56, 0 0.3, because you're gonna have to use that to get your model. And if you don't know how to get your model in, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll post a link up in the the little comment card, little I thing. All right, so we're gonna want to import our model and. Uh, I'm just going to drag and drop it right here into the assets thing. Okay. Now, we're going to need another Unity package. And this one's going to cost money. It doesn't cost a lot of money, but it does cost money. And that's this HANA tool version 2. I mean, whatever, but version 2 is the one I think that has um, the English. Uh, it's about 9... Nine, ten bucks? I don't know. It's, it's, it's about ten bucks. It's about ten bucks. Right. They have something to explain how the program works right in there, but it is a bit confusing and some of the English doesn't make a hundred percent sense. Um, and they talk about other programs. It, it gets a little confusing, which is ultimately why I decided I was going to, um, make this, you know? Alright, <clears throat> once you get the uh, program uh, and you uninstall it, you'll have these two packages. Grab this bottom one and drag and drop it into the assets. And it's going to ask you to install shit. I already have it installed, but you just grab it and drop it in. Like that. Uh, for me, it's just going to say, oh, you already have this package, which, you know, I do. So, okay. Alright. Now, we're going to take our model and drop it in. Now if there's anything you want to change on your model, you do that now because we're about to get into something. So like uh, this particular model, I usually have that glow effect on. Remember? Um, choosing the materials. And I would have to go and put that in now if that is what I wanted, which I'm going to do real fucking quick. I added all the glow to my stuff because I want to make sure all that's in there first before I move on to the next step, which is um, we're going to add the additional shape keys. 
So uh, what we're going to do is this HANA tool that we installed. We're going to go over to Reader and we're going to click it and it's going to come up with this. And you can select if you have the male or female and which version you have. And since we went with 12, I figured, you know, might as well go with the newest one. We're going to go there. Now over here, because your character has to be over in the hierarchy, which is this thing over here. You open it up and you're going to see the space thing. Grab this and drop it over here. This is the mesh. Don't get the head, just grab the face from right here. Alright, just like that. Um, and then we're just going to do read blend shapes. And give it a second, it might take a minute. There you go. This one apparently didn't take a minute. <laughs> um, and then we're done with this. I'm gonna get that out of here. Then we're gonna go over back over here and we're gonna go to clip builder. Right. And now over here it wants the whole avatar. So we're gonna take the whole avatar and drop it in there. Make sure B-Roid selected and clip a build. All right, and that's done. And then we can close this out. And now when we come over to blend shapes, we're gonna see that there's a whole bunch of new blend shapes. A whole bunch of new blend shapes. All right, now at this point, you're, we're gonna have to decide something. Uh, this is where we kind of divide off into two things. Um, so if you're going to do, um, if you're going to use the iPhone app with the uh, real tracking, I think it's called, I don't remember what it's called. Don't quote me on that. It might not be called that. Um, then, you know, you're going to need all of these and you can adjust them how you want. Like, uh, you could drop down the face thing and be like, oh, I want this to be more poofy. Which I absolutely do because I love poofy cheeks. Um, but you'll adjust each one of these to how you want them to be. And then once that's done, you'll export this by clicking on it. And you're going to go to um, the VRM and you're just going to export it as a humanoid. If for some reason you do not have that but you still want some of these like fancy little like things here. I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so I went through and I edited these to how I want them. All right, and I'm going to export this by coming over here and just um, VRM export humanoid export. Oh, we're gum. It's the version two. Yes, we'll replace it because. All right, now this is if you're going to do the iPhone tracking. If you're not gonna do the iPhone tracking, but you still want some of those expressions, uh, this is what we're gonna do. Um, so you know how you have like your angry and your fun and your joy and your sorrow and your surprise and well, we don't need to worry about extra because extra's not gonna work. Now, we're going to remap these to be some of the other ones. So like, let's say I wanna do change the angry, okay? So I have my angry down, but I also want like the puff cheeks. I could absolutely do that. And then I just be puffy, angry, or gamma. Um, and let's say uh, instead of the sorrow, we're going to come over here and we're going to edit the sorrow. And we're going to do mouth left. And um, for surprise, we're going to get rid of that one. And we're going to change it to mouth right. Alright, so now we will be able to do these two expressions. And then angry is going to have that in there. Um, and then if you want to add extras that you can, like, trigger, you can absolutely, like, you know, do that. But you're going to be limited mostly if you want it to be tracked by uh, angry, fun, joy, sorrow, and surprised. And I'll explain why in a second. So we're gonna just export this um, humanoid. You can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna do version 2.5 just because I'm gonna show you how both of those versions work. Okay, now that um, that is done, we're gonna go over into VC face. All right, and for this one, I'm gonna show you how to do the version 2.5 first, because um, the other one requires a bit more setup. Uh, but I will try to have it timestamped down below so you can kind of jump. 
All right, so this is version 2.5, start. I'm super glowy. Yes, please, thank you. Um, all right, and what we're gonna wanna do on this one is uh, experimental expression tutorial, which is this down here. Um, yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're going to set these. Um, I think I've mentioned these before. Also, I didn't realize my big old face was over here, but you know what? That's fine. We're just gonna put my face right, right away. Okay. <laughs> We're just gonna get rid of my face, it's in the way. <laughs> Alright, anyways, so um, how this works is you'll click on this and then you'll record that expression for a little while. Right? So like this. This is my neutral. And we can even talk. And what we're going to do is let it capture what we look like uh, neutral in all directions. And you just keep recording for as long as you think is good. Then you stop recording and then you can calibrate and hopefully it now knows what your neutral looks like. Now let's do angry for example. Yeah and then I can kind of trigger it mm, that way. Um, what were the other two we did? We did uh, well, I, gotta, I gotta double check. We did surprise and sorrow. All right let's see if we can get those done. Calibrate. And then you can see that my mouth is moving a little bit. Mm -hmm. ah, ah. Or, um, oh, you know which one I should have done? Hold on, we're gonna add this one too. Let me calibrate. And now we can stick out our tongue. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it keeps trying to stick my tongue out while I'm moving back and forth. <laughs> well, you kind of... <laughs> Look, it's experimental. Maybe sticking the tongue out isn't the best one because you'll just sometimes go back. <laughs> Unless you're maybe a frog VTuber and then that would be kind of funny. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the fakey way of doing this, okay? But... <laughs> <laughs> um, but maybe the, maybe the tongue one isn't a good idea. You can just you can select the tongue as like a a, a key binding expression because you can still add like key binding expressions to it, and then you can just toggle it on and off as you want. So you can have the extra ones. Okay, so now that we've done that one, um, we're going to talk about doing the iPhone tracking one and right now I don't have it on but we're going to get it on together because yes sir Bob anyways so iPhones that'll work with this or whatever is any that have the face ID tracking which is the iPhone 10 uh, 10s or XS uh, max XR 11 once you get your phone you're going to need to download this app the iFacial mocap um, it does cost money it's like eight bucks it's not free. I'm sorry. Um, and then another another thing you're going to need is um, Suvi's uh, eye facial mocap to VMC. There was a, a VMC that will work with Unity, but um, if you're trying to do um, VC face, for now you have to go through this third party system. Uh, but it works really good, so, and I recommend it. Also, I recommend her channel if you haven't seen her show. She's got a lot of good, like, advanced tutorials on there. Um, so yeah, you should go check her out. Um, <clears throat> anyways, so after you have those two programs, I'm... God, I, I don't know if I can do this. I'm gonna try to record on my messy fucking thing what I'm doing. There's also another program you can try, which is Ydio but I've had less than stellar interaction with it. Like, I don't know. So you're gonna want the uh, eye facial cap, and it's gonna be kind of like this. Um, oops, I didn't mean to do that. 
Uh, they have these things on here where you can like look forward and you know blur out your background and stuff, and it's it's fine. Um, but yeah, so uh, at this point, you're gonna see there's like this uh, IP address, and that's what you're you're going to need. So um, back on your computer, uh, you're going to want to launch um, Suvi's uh, eye facial mocap thing, which will look like this. So you're going to put in your phone's IP, you're going to put in like, you know, your whatever, and like, I use the 3333 port, whatever. Uh, and over here you can kind of show like that it's uh, working and connected. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But we don't need that right now. It's fine. So now that this is connected, we know that it's, it's, it's all Gucci. Yeah. All right. So we're going to come over to settings and we're going to go over to general settings. And then we're going to scroll on down to this OSC VMC receiver. Because, you know, this is what this is. Um, and at this point, you sort of select what you want tracked and stuff. I removed the lens shapes in the job, but I don't know, like, it, whatever. Like, for some reason, I do have a little bit of problems with tracking the eyes, but I kind of have the VC face track that then. All right, and at that point, you're pretty much set up, and it can now track all your facial things, so... <laughs> and I know I could probably somehow record this and you can see right there um, on the iPhone how it is sending out this like you see that little flashing thing so what that's doing is sending out its IR signals sending these little tiny little dots on my face so it can see uh, like depth and shit like that um, and just kind of making sure that it has like a good 3d map of my face and which is how it's able to give all these expressions on how uh, you would set this up. It's a little complicated and such, but it's not too bad, you know? Um, there is one more thing I kind of want to touch on, uh, but give me a second to set it up. One eternity later. Let's say you have a model already that you've already adjusted all of those itty bitty little blend shapes for, uh, such as this one, where I have all of these already set up to exactly how I want. And it took quite a while to do that. And I don't want to like have to do that for every single one, you know? Um, but there is a fix for that or there is a um easier way to do it so so we're gonna grab our new model being that i have often multiple models so here's my new model it's uh the my normal blue outfit and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come over here to the hana tool and i am going to uh do reader because we're going to do a lot of the same stuff again. Female. Mind you, I did, this was exported also from the uh, uh, female one. We're going to grab the face and drop it over here. And then we're going to go read blend shapes. Okay. We're then going to close this out so we don't need this anymore. And we're going to go over to the uh, clip builder. And we're going to just grab this and yeet it in here and then build the clip. This will take a couple seconds like it did before. And by a couple seconds up to maybe a minute. And we wait. And we wait. And we wait. Wait, 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 wait. All right. This is Gucci. And then at this point, what we can do, instead of going through and editing all those blend shapes again like we did last time, what we can do is copy shape and clips. And at this point, we're going to take our uh, destination avatar, the new avatar, and put it on the top one. And then the one we're going to copy from from the bottom one, you drop it over here. And then we're just going to copy. And this might take a minute or two, but it's fine. We'll just, you know, let it do its damn thing. Okay. Um, now that it's done, we're going to just, you know, uh, export it. 
If you're wondering what happened, I changed my uni my uh, UniVRM exporter uh, within the few minutes <laughs> because reasons. Okay, reasons. All right, and so that should be done. And then we're gonna go over to VC face. We're gonna launch our VC face. And I'm going to add in the new model. Do 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 do. Do do do. Bam. And we will start. Um, give it a second for the camera to kick in. There it goes. Yep, and all of my blend shapes have copied over into exactly how I want them. Yeah. Um, so yeah, pretty much that's it, really. <laughs> um, so I hope I hope this has helped you, and I know that it was a little complicated, and you'll probably have questions, and things probably won't work out perfectly right away. Um, but it takes some practice and, and like, just work at it, you know? Like, fiddle with it, try to figure it out, but uh, feel free to ask questions down below. I might not have all of the answers you're looking for, but I will do my best. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me for this tutorial, and if it has helped you out, please give it a like and share it, because that really helps me get, um, you know, seen by the algorithm, because the algorithm is kind of poop. Yeah. But, um, yeah, and, uh, comment below, like, subscribe, uh, see you next tutorial, whatever that may be. Okay, bye!